and is on the phone with us. How you doing there, Mr. Marley? Well, right now, the self-titled album is going to be released May 20th, but you can check it out. You know, the weekends long is the first thing that you can check that out. Either YouTube it, or, you know, Facebook it, or iTunes it, or, you know. Instagram it. <laughs> <laughs> There's the, the many ways of social media. The many yeah. ways of social media you can get to. Many yeah, ways to, to reach the people. Yeah. Right, and 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 that and that for you, man. For so many years, you've been reaching the people, man. And it's a blessing, man. From the time you were like ten year old on on the knee of Mr. Yeah. The Great, the the man himself that has given contributed so much to the world. But for you personally, that was your household, man. That's that's a huge thing, man. How, how did that prepare you for you know the the glamour that you get from starring now in Hawaii Five O and and things like that, man? How did how did just doing from a knee sitting man, young man, to a the man you are today and doing the Hawaii Five O series and things? Well, I mean, it's that open mindedness make it grow, you know. When you have an open mind, you can grow. That's and what's if up. you have good examples, if you have good examples, some of you, I mean, other you tell you have good examples, hardworking people, loving people, people with purpose, you know, people with care for other people in the world. So we, we have many, many, many experiences and, and many people to thank. And that's what's to, up, man. From me to thank for where I am today and who I am today. And, 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 and you pass that down to to your young ones, huh? Do you do you instill that in your household? I mean, you had it from from you, and you pass it down to the next generation. We we had a question about one of your young people from a, a Facebook person, Miss Mona Reed. She wants to know, you know, uh, will he do a tour with his son? Or will you do a tour a, a tour with your son, Daniel? Daniel, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I would like Daniel to know that if you would do a tour with me. <laughs> <laughs> big man, that's big. So let's talk a little bit more about, you know, the, 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 the oh, track that you got. Yeah, t talk a little bit. Go ahead, Miss Yvette. Talk a little bit about, you know, what you want to know about the, the series. You've seen him on the Hawaii Five-0 sitting down, him, Rude Boy, sitting in the seat in the car. You know, the, <laughs> <laughs> uh, talk a little bit about that scene that you were in. I've seen that. Well, all right, so that was the first thing them shoot when I came to the to Hawaii. I went to Hawaii. We took a break from making the record and go to Hawaii. And um, that's where I met um, Shia, mm -hmm. who was who was playing the other the policeman beside. And he was funny and kind of made me more comfortable. Um, and one one point came up where they were thinking they should use subtitles because they couldn't understand what they were saying. <laughs> and I was talking to me, kind of. Your accent was heavy, <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah, them say, yo, it's just you subtitles, man. This is you. No, no, you can't use subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. So it, it was funny, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a good learning experience, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Now, now I was listening to your new single. Now, now the weekend long, and and there's a part in there, and you're talking about, you know, for me, it came back to a a, a line that I heard a long time ago in college. I met, you know, uh, emancipate yourself from mental slavery. You yeah, know, yeah. It, it, there's, there's a little piece of that I felt when I listened to that song. Is is yeah, that a little yeah. influence over there? Uh, uh, talk a little bit about that. <laughs> Yeah, but it's a little shout out. It's a little shout out. You know? Okay, <laughs> that was beautiful, man. Cause I, I picked up, man. I picked up on that shout out, man. That's, that's, yeah, that's yeah, love, yeah, man. yeah. That's love. Yeah, man. <laughs> Oh, man, this is a beautiful time, and we appreciate all of the time that you gave with us this evening for us to talk to Mr. Ziggy Marley himself, man. talk. Tell him again about the, the album date yeah, yeah, and the, the tour yeah. coming up. Yeah. yeah, so the album is out May 28th. We are there at iTunes and all of that good stuff. I'm going to get you on tour at the end of May. We'll start out touring in, in the U.S. We start, we start on the West Coast. Make way across and you know try to cover the whole U.S. and then we go to Canada and the summer, you know. Mm -hmm. Doing some live music, we're looking forward to it and looking forward to see the people and having a good time, enjoying each other, you know. Well, we sure do hope you um decide to stop by Somerville, and we will, you know, enjoy showing you a good time here. 
Nice. Coming to the Bean area, this is that <laughs> one of them town. Right. 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 That's, that's right down. next door. You know what I mean? You, you know they have that, that, that uh, the rivalries here, man. So <laughs> Somerville is big enough trying to, you know, Boston is the main thing in New England. So they hear that. They hear that. You know, right. so we, we got our thing, Boston Free Radio here and Somerville Scott yeah. TV. So on, you know, man. Ziggy Marley is a man who put us on the map. <laughs> So we, we look forward to you coming to the area and being a part of what we have here with the Boston Free Radio. The name of the show is What's the Word? Miss Yvette uh, said Boogie. And, um, so, you, so what else would you like to share with us about your upcoming tour or just about life? The upcoming tour? Yes. Well, I mean, I mean we are 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 we if you want to find out some dates, if you're coming near you, I hear it coming. You can more that come, but right now we're at the beginning stage, you know? Right, right. We're going to keep everybody informed. When you come to town, we're going to know. Big up to Rude Girl yeah. and all his staff there, Tough Guan, Worldwide, that, you know, sets all of this yeah, thing up. Big up to I'm Michelle and all of those people. And, yeah, and we appreciate you, you, man. Guys, so we're going to yeah, go man. into his song, the new song, Weekends Long. Thank you, Mr. Ziggy Marley, for being a part of our evening. And you have a good night, man. And, you know, I, I know you, you're a versatile guy, man. And, you know, the children love you too, man. So hey, big up to all of those people look. that they're, they're, they're looking to your that. children's. I right. You. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Right. right. Yeah. So touching the generations. Much love to you. Much all love right. to you and the sister. Yes. Respect. Thank you very much. All right. Have a good one. Your man all said right. Boogie. Well, respect. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, said Boogie. We're just getting off the phone now <laughs> with Mr. Ziggy Marley. And uh, we're going into his new song, Weekend Long. That's what's up, man. Don't check, don't look, it's just scary. Why should you laugh instead of crying?